guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech, and this is the ZTE Z Max 2. Now, a lot of you may not have known, but if you already did know, ZTE originally came out with the Z Max. It was a budget smartphone that was very, you know, spec rich in terms of offering a lot of specs for the dollar. But this year, ZTE has gone ahead and come out with a predecessor, the ZTE Z Max 2, and we got a full review. And uh, I think that rhymed. ZTE, blah, ZTE Z Max 2, we got a full review. So let's get into that right now. Let's go. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So guys, the ZTE Z Max 2 has a 5.5 inch 720p HD screen with a Snapdragon 410 processor running Lollipop OS that's 5.1 with 2 gigabytes of RAM. It also has a front camera which comes in at 2 megapixels as you can see right here. And uh, it also has a back camera at 8 megapixels as I showed you earlier. Going on to the top side, you're going to see a 3.5 millimeter headset jack as well as a microphone up top here. And we're going to go over to the bottom and you're going to see a micro USB port and a microphone along the side over there. On your right side of the device, there is going to be a volume rocker switch as well as a power switch which is conveniently located right where your hand would normally rest. So next thing we're going to get into is how is the grip on the device? And the grip I have found on the device has been pretty solid. But if you have big hands like I do, this might be kind of a stretch for you in that department. So yeah, it's a pretty large phone. Going over to the back side, you're going to see that we have a removable battery that is 3000 milliamp hours on the ZTE. And we also have a micro SD card, which can expandable up to 32, as well as micro SIM slot right there. All right, guys, how is software on the ZTE Z Max? Well, if we scroll over, you can see software is pretty much like stock Android. So if we're going to go into settings, we're going to go to about phone and we're going to scroll down. We're going to see that we have Android version 5.1 Lollipop. But overall, the experience has been pretty buttery smooth, as you can see in this example. Scrolling down, there's also a few added features. So ZTE throws on a few things, which are actually very useful in their um, stock Android skin version. But overall, it's a pretty clean thing. We have Dolby sound which is kind of cool because you don't really get these on other higher end devices these sound enhancements and we'll talk more about the speaker quality later some of the apps are skinned out like zt you can see they skin them out a little bit on stock android but I think overall it provides for a little bit of a better experience and I'm just impressed at how fast these web pages render on this device as you can see Things are firing right up and they're firing up very easily and zooming and multi-touch scrolling is very well as well. Also, you're going to see multitasking performs like a champ here. And you can see we have a task manager and clear all right there. Going over into the camera, you'll see that that's a little bit skinned as well. But we'll talk more about the camera later in this review. But yeah, overall, it's very important that you go ahead and disable these bloatware apps as you can see if you would like to disable them because they kind of... They kind of get in the way if you're not using this as an actual Go phone, if you're popping in a different SIM card. So you can go ahead and disable those as well. But overall, the software experience just flies right on through. And for this price, I can't complain with that 2 gigabytes of RAM and Snapdragon 410 processor. Playing those casual games and just surfing on your phone and just doing all the things you want to do with heavy usage on the ZTE Z Max. How is the battery life on this device? And I can tell you the battery life on this device is very solid and it is a, a lot better than a lot of the other phones out there in the market at this price range. You're going to get around four hours to four and a half hours on screen time. So you're looking at a, maybe a pretty solid heavy day. You'll get through the day with this phone. If you're going super heavy status, you're going to make it maybe half the day. And if you're going really light, you'll easily make it through a day or two if you go light on the phone. As far as charging, Charging the device takes about three hours, so it's not quick charging, but we wouldn't expect that at its price of 129. So yeah, that's pretty much the battery life on your ZTE Z Max 2. 
Guys, for all you want to see the true performance, here's a Geekbench scores on the device. We scored a 471 in single core and 1374 in multi-core. Now these aren't very high numbers, but don't be fooled. This phone performs a lot better than these numbers would indicate in real world performance. All right, guys, getting into the Quadrant score. This is another performance test for all of you who want to just get down to the geeky scores. Um, we're going to see that it's operating pretty smoothly. It comes in at about 60 frames per second in this test right here. But as it goes on, it drops a little down to 59, a little bit down to 45, as you're going to see when we go over to the planet. And it switches over to the DNA testing real quick i don't know if i cut that scene out but here it is right here it drops a little bit here but we're going to get into the final scores in a second here so we're going to hit this benchmark result and you're going to see that we scored a 13,510. and once again these aren't blazing fast scores but these are never indicative of the real world performance as this phone just flies in real world performance Right, guys you're going to notice that the zte has a 8 megapixel camera that's capable of 720p hd recording and it has a flash on the back as well going into the camera software you're going to see that it is a very nice camera it's uh, got some extra features in there and it fires off pictures pretty quick so we're going to focus and boom we snap the shot right there and we're going to show you a little bit of the quality but i'm also going to put camera samples as well as video samples right after you see these scenes. So yeah, overall we have some extra features here. We have front facing camera. We're gonna go to that real quick if I can tap. It's kind of hard to do behind camera, but let's get here. And yes, I got the duct tape camera back. The Sony didn't work out for me. Hello, how you doing? And uh, yeah, we have a timer right here, which goes up to three. 10 and most cameras don't even go up to 20 but this one goes up to 20. We have a flash right here and we have full screen shutter tone geotagging review. Going over to video we have video quality, time lapse, um, some extra things just nice features for a budget phone. I mean you would never have got these features back in the day you would just had a simple camera. So going over to fun features about special effects, HDR, interval and we also have a manual camera mode which is something you definitely do not see in phones in this price range. So that is a great thing and thank you ZTE for putting that in here and I think a lot of you users will enjoy that manual camera. Also on the lock screen we have a short quick access cut to the camera. Right, guys this is a sample of the zt z max 2's front facing camera video recording so as you can see right here hello how are you doing here this is me nick ackerman from everything tech but this is a sample uh you can, this is the actual sound too as well so uh yeah that's the front all right guys this is a sample of the back camera on the zte z max 2 as you're getting a little sample of the snow there's my dog right there i'm gonna zoom in a little bit says it can go in four times zoom so you can see that's kind of what you're going to expect on the zte z max 2 as well as this is the real sound that's coming in so yeah and you could also take a picture while you're recording as well so yeah you can do that as well all right guys so how have phone calls been on the device they have been pretty solid for me overall speaker quality you might want to get an external speaker if you're always doing uh speaker phone talking but overall the mic sounds good and the mic translates well over to other callers no problems on that end all right guys going to the back you're going to see we have these precision cut two dual speakers it looks like but don't be fooled these are not the loudest we're going to go ahead and test these speakers out right here so i'm on my channel go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and we're going to go down and we're just going to test out the sound quality on these speakers so let's go ahead and listen to that right now Nick here and I hope you guys so as you can see that 
The speakers did sound pretty well, although I am indoors. They're not the best in the world, but they'll get the job done. Going into Dobly Audio, this is a crazy that you can get this nice feature and sound enhancements through the headphones on this ZTE Z Max 2 is just amazing what ZTE has done here. They've put Dolby Audio, and basically what that does is it enhances the sound that comes through your headphones. Now, of course, you want to have beats or not, whatever headphones you like, you know, Monsters, whatever great quality headphones you have is going to also enhance it. But overall, I've really enjoyed, you know, listening to anything through these headphones. As you can hear, they're even coming through right through the uh, headphones themselves. So this is a great enhancement for your ZT Z Max 2. All right, guys, let's get into gaming. Let's play Leo's Fortune, one of my favorite games as it's very highly optimized for most devices and it's highly graphical. So as you can see, let's skip on over to the next stage of this game. And we're gonna see how the performance is on the gaming side on the ZTE Z Max 2 for Leo's Fortune, the first test. The next one's going to be Dead Trigger coming up right after this. But as you can see, let it load up real quick. Trickery Trail, what's up? And uh, here we go. As you can see, graphics look great. Buttery smooth performance, no hiccups here at all. And I know this game is very highly optimized because it's very popular, but overall, it's just playing very well, as you can see. And that's something that we want when we buy a great uh, budget device. We want to at least be able to play games overall. All right, guys, so getting into Dead Trigger, we're going to see how the graphics perform on this little bit more taxing game on the CPU. Um, I know this is another highly optimized game, but most of us are going to play these more popular, highly optimized games. And if we want to play more crazy fast games, we'll probably use our PC for that. So let's go ahead and see how the graphical performance is. And this is also a good way to check out that screen as it looks pretty dang great for a 720p HD. It's not 1080p, but it's very crispy indeed for what you get. And uh, yeah, gaming looks pretty solid. I don't see any frame drops here. Let me know if you see any lagging. I don't see pretty much any of it. And it's very enjoyable on this 5.5 inch HD display to be gaming with. So yeah, that's a little test of Dead Trigger and Leo's Fortune. All right guys, so if you pick up the ZTE Z Max, you're gonna know as we've said in the review already, this is a 5.5 inch screen. So it's a pretty large phone. I got an iPhone right over here, iPhone 5S, which is the smaller version. But you can see this is a pretty large phone. This is close to the iPhone 6S Plus in size. So let's see a pocket test how this fits. So I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit so you guys can see my pants. I got regular dude size jeans, 32 by 34 somewhere in that neck of the woods. And as you can see, when I slip it in the pocket, it'll slip right in there. It'll take up a little bit of a ball chair in your pocket. So it is quite a big phone. If you're a girl and you got smaller jeans, this is going to take quite a bit of space in here. Let's go over to the back. And as you can see, it slips right in there. It doesn't reveal anything, so you're good there. Um, but like I said, if you've got tighter jeans or something like that, it's going to be um, more of a squeeze for you. So this is a pretty large phone overall. All right, guys, in this section, I want to get into a spot that most reviewers don't get into, and this is going right into the storage to show you that if you go into storage down here, you're going to see we have 16 gigabytes. Available is about 9.3, but I use a lot to put apps on, and you can also expand it to 32, but also ZT includes a save location to switch it over to the SD, which is great. So storage is solid. How has build quality been on the ZTE Z Max 2? And it has been pretty solid. There's no creaking or flexing. The seams fit tight on the sides. The sides seem like they'll be pretty durable and they won't scratch too easily because it's plastic. Um, it has a nice polish around these buttons, so that makes it very premium looking. And overall, it just feels very nice. All right, guys, well, that pretty much wraps up this review on the ZTE Z Max 2. Um, should you pick this device up? I say if you're on a budget, it's pretty hard to beat this device at $129.99 at Best Buy. It's an AT&T Go phone, but you can also pick this up unlocked on Amazon.com. I will leave the link to pick this up unlocked in the description. It's a little bit more on Amazon due to the fact that it can be used on any carrier as it's unlocked, but it's still only $159. So, and I think this is better than a lot of those cheaper blue phones that you see. ZT, like I say, is the number four manufacturer in the U.S. now, so it's kind of weird that nobody really knew this company a few years ago, but they're really stepping it up, and I like what they've done with the ZT Z Max. But overall, we talked about everything that I possibly could in this video. If 
there's anything I missed, go ahead and leave a comment down below in the uh, comment section and I will reply to you with uh, anything I missed as best as I can. Um, but overall, everything is pretty solid. The screen is solid, software is buttery smooth. There, It's not perfect software. There is gonna be a glitch here and there as I have never found a smartphone that's perfect. But wow, this phone is like a high-end phone a couple years ago here in 2015, wrapping up the year. So if you've seen this phone on a budget price and you feel like picking up, like I say, go for it. Um, camera is solid. I left camera samples in the video as you've seen. The flash, I didn't mention, but the flash gets really bright as well on this device. And the, the buttons on the side have a nice, uh, you know, crispy aluminum polish around them and they're very tactile in a nice position. Although this is a pretty large phone and it's squared off, so if you're a person that likes curvy phones, this might not be the phone for you. Um, and if you have small hands, you're not into those big gargantuan phones, this phone might not be for you. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it on this review. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up down below. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more technology videos like this. And uh, hope to see you soon and catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. Yeah. yeah.